Notice the duration of our joy. The duration of our joy. We are to have, notice, a continual attitude of joy. That's why it says rejoice in the Lord what? Always. Not some of the time or most of the time, but all of the time. Our joy comes from knowing Christ. The Bible says that Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So if our joy is anchored in the unchanging person of Christ, then our joy should be unchanging. So when you have the person of Christ in your heart and in your life, you are supposed to radiate with joy, not with meanness. Right? Right? When we have Christ in our heart and life, we ought to be radiating with joy. Joy should be spilling out of our hearts and lives, not meanness. Look again at Philippians 4 verse 5. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Now, that Greek word translated moderation, you may want to circle that word. It carries with it the idea of being gentle. Being patient is the idea. Let me paraphrase, and this is the Frazier translation, all right? Let your moderation be known unto all men means be a nice person. <laughs> be a nice person. And notice unto all men means we are supposed to be nice people at church and we are supposed to be nice people when we are not at church at school, at work, in our neighborhood. The Lord is at hand means Jesus could come back at any moment. When Jesus comes back, I don't want to be caught being a sad, grumpy, complaining, mean-spirited Christian. That's what these verses are saying. As Christians, we're supposed to be the nicest people in town. Seriously. And if you're not going to be nice, take the church stickers off your car. <laughs> if you're going to be mean, then take it off. We're supposed to be nice people. I'm serious, folks. This is where the rubber meets the road. We're supposed to have an attitude of joy. We're supposed to be happy, not mean. We're supposed to be nice people. We come to church thinking about God and thinking about others, not constantly thinking about ourselves. Notice fourthly and lastly, the determination to be joyful. The determination to be joyful. Notice the repetition that you find in verse 4. Rejoice in the Lord always. And then he says, and again I say, and then big capital R there, rejoice. Rejoice. I believe Paul repeats the command to rejoice twice because he knows that it's not always going to be easy and at times it will be a struggle for us to have an attitude of joy. But we are to consciously make a decision to be joyful and not grumpy. It's a choice that we make. So if we're going to go from being an I want member to an I will member, then we have to embrace the attitude of unity. We've got to embrace the attitude of sacrifice. And we've got to embrace an attitude of joy. Unity means that we think about the big picture. The unity and peace that we have here at Canton Baptist Temple is something that we want to maintain, right? You ever been in a church that all they had was splits and divisions and fighting and bickering and constantly at each other's throats? That's not what we want. We want to be a church that has unity and peace. That's the kind of church that God will use for his honor and his glory. We want to be a church known for sacrifice. Making sacrifices for the cause of Christ Making sacrifices for each other means that we care about each other. We're considerate of the needs and the burdens that other people have in our membership here at Canton Baptist Temple. And then joy. We don't, we don't come grumpy. We ought to come happy to church. Right? Amen. This is a good day, not a bad day. <laughs> We're in God's house with God's people, studying God's Word, wanting to become more like God's Son. We ought to be happy about that. 
Be joyful. Smile a little bit more. Seriously. Loosen up. Sometimes we look, I tell you what, if people looked at us, they'd say, I don't want to be a Christian. I can tell you that. Miserable. Woo. We ought to be joyful. Joyful. We have a lot to be joyful about. This ministry has so much to offer. And some of you, all you can see is what you don't like. I guarantee you, if you look a little closer, there's more that you like than you don't like. We are a blessed church. I've never seen a church that has so much to offer for all ages. We got something for everybody here. Wonderful programs, wonderful facilities. We're going to be out at the camp tonight. Wonderful gift from God, Camp Choff. We got a wonderful staff here at our church. We have a lot to be grateful for. Can you make the mental connection again? A grateful member is a joyful member. Let's start being grateful for what God has given us here. And when we're grateful and joyful, we'll attract people to our church instead of repelling people away from our church. I don't know about you, but I want to grow this church. I don't want us to go backwards. I want us to go forward. The Lord is at hand. The Lord's coming is imminent. Work for the night is coming. Will you embrace that attitude today? An attitude of joy.